Ty Gang sent this into my inbox and was like, hey Robbie, I've been messing around with Luna Lights this format. I think I've got the perfect ratios down and I wanted to go through, show his replay off and I wanted to show the deck profile for everybody as well because this is actually pretty cool, honestly, uh, that we get the chance to uh, actually see this deck do its thing. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to Foolish Burial and you know what fantastic stuff this does. Dropping down the Luna Light bottle. We're going to banish the bottle to go do our searchy thingies. And here we're going to search for the Clyde chick, and then we're going to trigger our danger, which is going to get us a Jackalope. A little Jack-Jack. We're going to drop the Clyde onto the field here, which is going to drop the Yellow Martin. We're going to go ahead and resolve this hot Tanky here. Tanky is going to resolve in getting us the Tiger, of course. Tiger's going to be dropped on the field. We're going to revive the Yellow Martin. We're going to make Time Thief Redoer here for essentially free. We're going to go ahead and do the detach for the toggle, which by Time Thief Redoer, which is going to get us our Serenade Dance. All right, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to reveal the Jack. Jack is going to have to reroll a couple of times. The downside to playing yourself. All right, go Jackalope. All right. Discard the Suchi, get the Jack to draw. You get the Jack established here, get the free bounce back here. Hello, Yellow Martin, coming on back. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to resolve Curious Boy here. Curious is going to do what Curious does best, which will send. And then we actually mill three. Well, we actually ended up milling the Zephy here, which is absolutely absurd. So we're going to go Luna Light Tiger. Luna Light Tiger, revive the Kaleido Chick. Or we're going to go ahead and do our thing. Zephyros bouncing back our Luna Light Tiger so we can continue on with our combo. Tiger on, on back the Yellow Martin. Now, we're going to discard Twin Twister here to blow up one of our bad cards uh, so that we can load up Serenade Dance triggering over here. All right, so we get to combo off on different path here. Shade Brigadine coming on down. All right. So at, at this stage in the combo, we're going to go ahead and toggle into the app app. All right, so now that we've established Appaloosa, we make the Dweller, and then we make the Spice Utopia double here, which is going to recruit for our beautiful double or nothing. And then we get to rank up into Utopic Kaiser. Now, Utopic Kaiser has this hilarious ability that lets you bring out Big Eye from your deck, and then you get to recruit for the rank up magic quick launch, which you set. This is literally your ending board. So you have two negates. You have Utopic Kaiser, you have Appaloosa, and you have Abyss Dweller with a full rank up onto the opponent's turn to stop them from playing the game. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that we have a really interesting deck here for the most part because when you look at a play like this, um, this card will only become more busted over time here. Give me give me a little bit of time to say this, and we'll, we'll see this in like three months. When the revision comes out, where Utopic Kaiser is able to be abused a little bit more, um, fashion tree flood out more monsters, I think it's going to be interesting. But let's pass it on over to the deck profile. Shall so this is Ty Gang's version of what he's testing. This is version two. Uh, this version is testing Performa Pal Popper Up. So Popper Up says send three cards from your hand to the graveyard to draw that many cards. Then you can special summon up to that many monsters from your hand with different names that are Performapal, Magician, and or Odd Eyes Monsters, each with a level between the pendulum scales of the two cards in your pendulum zone. If you do not special summon by this effect, you lose 1,000 light points for each card in your hand. So if you go first and you activate this and your opponent Ash Blossoms it, well, you have one card left in your hand. Because pitching three is cost, and uh, it's just a terrible investment. But players are looking to this card to be basically a graceful charity-esque effect. 
um, but it's a minus one because it doesn't actually replace itself. It's definitely an interesting card to help support themes like this and things that really want to do its thing here. So yes, Utopia Double. Oh, where'd you go, buddy? Utopia Double into Kaiser. So we're playing two copies of this so that you, if you brick on it, it's fine. You're not going to find yourself in a terrible situation. So, Ty's deck here for everybody. So we have one copy of Zephyros the Elite. Uh, generic bounce back. And to top things off, this is literally the essential piece of your combo. Um, literally searching this off of the Raid Raptor is hot. Two copies of Mothman. Now that you need more discard outlets, more so than ever in this deck, um, I think it's really important that players understand that with one hit of Nessie, uh, Mothman's playability goes up through the roof. So having more of a safe engine that you're able to filter through the deck and get to those key options, you know, play your deck essentially, is really what you want here. Then we have one copy of Danger Nessie, two copies of Jackalope, two copies of Suchinoko. Literally, you're on seven dangers. I think that's probably the best ratio for what you're really going to want to see this format. Uh, then we have one copy of the Emerald Bird. Normal or special send one Lunar Light card from your hand to the graveyard. You draw one. Scratch into the graveyard by card effect and target one of your level four lower Lunar Lights that is banished in your graveyard. Special summon in defense mode, so you get float ability. Kaleido, once per turn, send one Lunar Light from your deck to, or extra deck to the graveyard. This card gains the name. We don't really care about that. We just care that we can dump from the deck and literally extenders. Like, dropping the Martin is pretty good. Then we still have Tiger. Tiger is the most, the card that's causing all of the issues with this deck. It's because once per turn, you can target one Lunar Light monster in your graveyard and special summon it, but it cannot attack and its effects are negated. So basically, we're just looking to abuse this with Zephyros with Martin to bounce back the Lunar Light cards and set up and recur this nice little loop that we can, you know, put our opponent in a bad position. We have two copies of Yellow Martin. So if this card is in your hand of Graveyard, you target one Lunar Light card you control except for Yellow Martin, return it to your hand. If you do special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. If this card sends the Graveyard by card effect, you can add one Lunar Light Spell Trap card from your deck to your hand. Hello, Recursion. All right. And then we have two copies of Ancient Cloak. It's so weird to see the Phantom Knight engine the back at it again. But if this card is in attack position, you can target one dark monster on the field. Change the, this card to defense position if you do it gains 800 attack. Okay, and then banish this card from your graveyard to add one of the Phantom Knight's card from your deck to your hand. Yay, it searches for the stupid rank up card. Gotta love it. And then we have two goblins of Silent Boots. Uh, if you control a Phantom Knight monster, you can special summon this card. Once per turn, you can banish this card from your graveyard to add one Phantom Knight spell or trap card from your deck to your hand. Nice little splash engine, by the way. And then we play two copies of Double or Nothing. Um, in case you actually hard draw the one Utopia Double, your whole combo is resilient on resolving the Double. So we're going for the Double of here in case you do hard draw it. I mean, it, it's a situation like this that you have to play more bricks, and I get it. Um, it just, it stings. We have triple copies of Tenki to search for our Lunar Light cards. One copy of Foolish Bro. Triple copies of Foolish Bro goods. Triple copies of the Lunar Light Perfume. Such, so stupid how this actually works. Then we have one Performa Pile Popper up. Now, this is the card that breaks everything right now. So, the Phantom Knights rank up Magic Launch. So during the main phase, target one Dark Exceeds you control with no material. Special so summon from your extra deck one Dark Exceeds monster that is one rank higher than that monster you control by using it as material. If you do attach this card to it as an additional material, it is treated as an Xyz summon and transfer its materials to the summon monster. During your main phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard, target one Dark Exceeds you control, attach one Phantom Knight's monster from your hand to that as material. It is a quick play rank up that allows us to doom our opponent with Kali King Yuga, because after this card is Xyz summoned for the rest of certain other cards and their effects cannot be activated on the field, and other cards' effects on the field are negated. Whew. And he stands at 3,500, by the way. So, uh, good time ranking up. Then we have two Twin Twister, one Serenade Dance, and one copy of the Shade Brigadine itself, allowing us to have a warrior that we can drop on the field. Down here in the extract, we have one Unicorn, one Phoenix, one Curious. Curious Boy is going to be the thing that's going to be causing all of our problems for this deck. Then we have one Boral Sword, one Beat Cop, 
one Barricade Borg Blocker, also being able to discard is beautiful in this deck, one Appaloosa, one Tornado Dragon, one Four Strix, one Utopic Kaiser, one Utopia Double, one Utopia, one Big Eye, one Dual Don King Kaliuga, and one Abyss Dweller. Wrapping up a fun little Lunalite deck profile from everybody from Tai Gang here. So guys, what do you think about this deck? Please leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys think. And well, Ty, thank you for sending this in. And for those of you that want to mess around with things in the current format, let me know what you think and what you're testing. All right, guys, I'm out. Peace. The ride never truly ends. Thank you, patrons, for helping support the channel. Without you guys, I don't know if I'd still be doing this. And for those of you that like Cardfight Vanguard, Fancole40 is here for all your content needs. And those of you asking if I sell cards, mcoolgames.com for all your trading card game needs. Check the description for more interesting info. Thanks for watching, guys.